Digesters, it's Azgin here. In this video, it's actually not a tutorial. It's going to be a quick walkthrough video for my new patcher patch that I created for the vocal FX chain. Recently, I got tons of questions about my own patcher patch that I'm using on my tracks, but unfortunately, that patch contains fully third party plugins and it wouldn't make sense if I just directly share it with you. So instead, I decided to create another patch. And actually, the new patch that I just created is even better than the one that I'm using. It has more features and also it's fully stock. You can just drag drop it inside of your FL Studio and you will see that patch is one of the powerful tools that I created so far for processing your vocals, for giving effect to your vocals. And the good thing, the patch is totally free. You can find the download link in the description. There's no download gates or whatsoever. You can just click and download it, drag drop to your FL Studio and that's all. If you like to thank me about it, you can like and comment the video. It's going to be the best way to support the channel for YouTube algorithm. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. Okay guys, we are in the FL Studio now. So this is the patch I made. So I'm not offering the best user interface. I'm really bad at that one. But I can tell you this patch is going to fasten your workflow so much. So I have a vocal. Let me just deactivate the FX for now. And, I, and now I'm going to play the vocal first. You found me. Put your arms around me, keep me safe and sound we So this is just any dry vocal that I find on Splice for sake of this tutorial. And as you see, when you load the page, you are going to find a reverb section, a delay section and a chorus sound. So we have three FX on that. Maybe in the future I can release another update with more features. But currently this is probably enough to achieve a really big wide vocals in your tracks. So first let's start with the reverb. As you see, I have a reverb knob in here and this is just the volume of the reverb. You found me, put your arms around me, keep me safe and sound. We dance until we both burn down. So this is a really clean reverb for using in the vocals. And as you see, there are a reverb sidechain knob in here. If you put the knob to the top, there won't be any sidechain. The reverb is going to be applied as a sound channel. We will have a dry vocal and a reverb sound top of that one. You found me, put your arms on. But if you push the knob to the bottom, it's the threshold knob for the sidechain with the dry signal, with the sound FX signal. Which means, let's say we have this amount of reverb. And if I like to push it like that, when the vocal is singing, when there is dry vocal, the reverb is gonna duck itself in terms of volume. And with this, we are creating a sidechain FX with the vocal and the reverb itself. You found me, put your arms around you like with this when the vocal is singing there will be less reverb so you can get so much clarity on your vocals and still get tons of reverb if you push it to the very bottom the side chain is going to be insane so it's going to be so hard so probably you don't need this in a vocal channel if you are not intentionally doing it but other than that just keep it somewhere around here if you middle mouse click you can find the default value that i currently set for all the knobs so it's a really nice starting point for your vocals you found me put your arms around me keep me safe and safe As you see, when there is no vocal, the reverb FX is going to play. So yeah, this is for the reverb. In the bottom, we see the delay uh, section, which is exactly the same, but with more features with a cutoff also. So now let's test the delay. You found me, put your arms around me. You found me. As you see, if I put the delay sidechain to the bottom, the when the vocal is singing, there will be less delay. So it's probably the best way to separate the delay with the vocals and get more clean vocals in your tracks. And other than that, I have a delay cutoff knob in here. So this knob is just cutting the high frequencies from the delay. Most of the cases, you can just use it somewhere around here. You found me, put your arms around me, keep me safe and sound we Dance until we both burn down. 
So currently the delay settings as default is on time three and it's locked to the pin pawn mode. If you like to change it, you can just go back to the mapping. I'm gonna show you how to do it really soon. But first let's go to the last feature of the plugin. I have a chorus uh, knob in here, which makes the vocals much more wider in the track. Let's test how it sounds. You found me, put your arms around me. Keep me safe and sound, we dance until we both burn down. You found me, put your arms around me. Yeah, as you see, the chorus just as expected. It's widen your vocals with adding some more layers and making it more stereo. And the good thing with the patch is, when you are staking the FX on an insert, insert channel, the FX, the reverb, the delay, the chorus, they are applying top of each other. Let's say you have a delay and then you just add a reverb. The reverb is going to apply to the sound that already delayed. So it's just not making any sense if you compare it with this patch. Because with this patch, the reverb, the delay, the chorus, there are three different channels and the dry vocal is another channel. With the patch, you are sending the FL Studio, you are using four different channels. Reverb channel, delay channel, chorus channel, and a dry vocal channel. And none of the effects are stacking top of each other. Every FX has their own output. With this, you are going to be much more freedom on your FX and it's and the delay is only going to apply to the dry sound. Similarly, the reverb is going to apply to the dry sound. There won't be any clashing. This is the same logic with uh, setting up the re return sound tracks. But yeah, with this patch, you can just drag drop and the four channels already setting up for you with no extra effort that you put. And okay, before I end the video, let's go to the mapping uh, because maybe you don't like the reverb preset or you don't like the delay timing and you want to change it. All you got to do is just double click, let's say the delay and uh, let's make the time this time four. And yeah, now you can go to the surface and the delay time is now four. You found me. Or let's try to make it eight. You found me, found put your arms around me, 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 Or if you like, you can just not make it ping pong, make it mono, make it stereo. You can do whatever you like inside of the delay in here. And that's all. It's similar to the reverb. You can just go here and maybe you have another reverb preset. You can just load it from here. All you gotta do is make sure you are not sending any dry information. It should be the, all the FX that you are putting in here. It must be all wet, no dry signal. If you just accidentally leave some dry signal on the FX, it's going to be phased and it's not gonna sound pleasant. And other than that, that's it guys. You can just use this ultimate vocal FX tool by me. The download link in the description. And again, if you like to thank me, you can just like and comment the video. That's all I ask. And yeah, today that was it guys. I hope you can make a really dope track with this patch. So see you on the next video. Bye bye.